Hey everyone, Adobe just released an update that allows us to do some really advanced AI denoising in Photoshop, Lightroom, and Lightroom Classic. If you haven't checked it out yet, once you update, you just go to Noise Reduction under the Detail panel in Lightroom Classic, for instance, click Denoise, and it's very simple, which is what I love. I've been looking for a very simple solution that gets rid of most of the noise while preserving a good amount of the detail. And I think Lightroom might have nailed it. If you go there, you don't have many options. It's basically one click, although there is a slider. You go to one, almost nothing happens. The noise is all there, but it looks like some of the color noise is gone. 100 kind of takes all the noise away, but smears some stuff. So I don't like that either. I've been, had, I've been having the best luck just right there at 50, which is the default. And then you click enhance. Once you click enhance, it creates a DNG without all that noise, which is awesome. It's very simple. And so far it's been very powerful. I'm comparing what Adobe is doing with some of the other software. And it's not a totally fair comparison, first of all. So it's, this is no, we're not doing science here. What the other software generally gives you is the ability to fine tune things a little bit more. And I'm looking at on one DXO and also Topaz Photo AI and how they run their stuff. So in this comparison, basically what I'm doing is I'm just going to the automatic settings. So on Lightroom, I'm doing a one click setting at 50. And then on all the other software, I'm just importing the raw file and I'm doing all these with raw files. I'm importing the raw file and just selecting automatic and letting the program choose what to do. Um, so I'm basically keeping things kind of the same, although I do just want to make sure that you know that for the other software, you might have better results by fine tuning the results, uh, fine tuning the settings to what you need for your images. We're going to look at a bunch of images. We're going to compare them, talk about some of the things I'm seeing. And then at the end, I'm going to give you my suggestion on what you should do moving forward. Uh, so you can get going and, and get the best images possible. We are starting out with an old image. This is a 3200 ISO from an old Canon camera. This is a CR2 file, raw file. I think this was with the uh, Canon 10D or 20D. I uh, can't remember which one exactly, but one of those old ones. And as you can see, there's a lot of grain. There's streaks and it looks pretty ugly. That color green is not fun to look at and it kind of messes up with the, uh, the details, right? So the first one up is the enhanced... Uh, version from Lightroom, and I think it does an amazing job. I can see almost no grain in many of the areas of the image, and the details look really well preserved. So we're getting really nice detail on the cobwebs and on that co hanger. Everything looks pretty cool. The next one up is DXO, and if we look at that, it also looks very good. Now you'll see some changes in exposure and all that stuff because I'm just taking into those programs and I'm denoising them and exporting them as they are. I'm not doing much with them. Next up, we got on one and on one does a pretty good job. I think that it makes the background a little bit muddier. If you look, there's some green and some color splotches there. However, that's counterbalanced by whatever automatic setting is adding more detail. So like the cobweb, for instance, and the rope, looks like there's quite a bit more detail there. So there's a balance there. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not quite sure. There, there's nicer details, but I do like the uh, other two versions, the Lightroom and the DxO versions a little bit better overall. And then finally, we have Photo AI. Photo AI, AI I've found to be pretty awesome on most instances, but it does have some problems. So when we go in here, you can see some weird streaking. See those streaks right there and in the background right there? They're kind of weird to look at, right? I'm not sure what's going on there. But other than that, it took away most of the noise and did a pretty good job, right? So the first test is pretty good. And actually, I think the clear winner, the easy winner is probably Lightroom. It's pretty awesome. Next up is a wedding. ISO 6400. Next image is for a wedding. I'm using ISO 6400 here, and we get a grainy image that still totally works. The client was really happy with this one. Uh, remember, grain sometimes is fine, especially when you print. Grain doesn't come out as much in a print, uh, depending on the type of grain and all that stuff. But uh, the image looks fine, but when we go to the denoising, it takes away almost all of the grain. What I really interest, uh, what I really am finding about the Lightroom denoising is that it leaves a little bit of grain there and it just makes it look better. So when we go here, you can see this is pretty splotchy and it just doesn't look quite as good. It's still loading. Yeah, you can see some of the color interferences in there. And then this looks a lot better in the background, especially even though there's grain, it looks good. It's like better looking grain. The skin is a touch waxy, not a big deal. You know, back here, it looks fine. Uh, we go over here to DXO. DXO did a fantastic job of denoising. And uh, it looks like the skin tones are just a touch waxy, very similar to what we're getting with Lightroom right there. Next up is On One. And On One did the probably poorest job, in my opinion, of all these. And it just kind of splotches the background a, a little bit, makes it look a little weird in places. 
it doesn't get rid of uh, um, all of the noise. It looks like that's not noise. That's uh, um, a hot pixel. But like if I look over here in the color there, the color doesn't look good. It looks like it's trying to pull more uh, details from their skin and the hair, but at the expense of maybe some of the some of the problems that we're getting in the background. And again, if we wanted to go in and change some of the settings, we might get better results, but we're just comparing the automatic settings. Finally, Photo AI does a pretty good job, although it does this weird stuff with some of the colors here. So not liking that at all, but it does a good job on their on, on their skin mostly, but just that stuff make, makes me kind of crazy, right? That doesn't look too good. Next one is uh, me being a professional photographer. Going out, I had decent light, and I was shooting at ISO 6400 for no reason, probably just because I forgot to change it. And uh, we get this cool old car that has quite a bit of grain, uh, but it still looks good. I think it matches it, but I just wanted to test out what these other options would look like. So in Lightroom, it does an almost, I mean, I say almost, but I think it does a perfect job of getting rid of that grain. I can see detail everywhere. I can see detail in the chrome, in the rust, in the paint, on the ground, pretty much everywhere. That steering wheel looks great. Again, we're comparing it from there to there. That looks pretty awesome. Next up is DxO. DxO does a excellent job as well. Really, really, really well detailed, but without grain. I think it's got less grain than Lightroom. Uh, Lightroom's denoising, but uh, just slightly. I like them both equally, probably. When we go here to On One Noise, it does, in my opinion, again, not as good of a job. There's not as much detail, some smeared stuff. It just doesn't look that great. And then finally here at the end, we have Photo AI, which does another, you know, it does a good job, but I think I like Lightroom's the best here. Again, I think that Lightroom did the best job. Uh, quick note, my son is in a box and that's where we keep him. He's the box kid. And uh, <laughs> just wanted to show you that this is a JPEG and Adobe's denoising does not work with JPEGs yet. And that kind of sucks. So uh, both, all the other software works with, JPEGs, except for Lightroom, I'm sure they'll change that in the future. And uh, I just kind of wanted to look at that. And for instance, on one does a weird thing where these checker boxes are everywhere with the noise patterns, which is kind of interesting. None of the other software did it. Photo AI probably did the best job on a JPEG if you're interested in testing it out yourself. But let's go back to the raw files and go to an ISO 3200 image. Here we go. And, um, uh, this is the original, so we have some grain, but it, I meant for this grain. It kind of looks pretty good, in my opinion. This is Lightroom's denoising. It looks utterly fantastic. Detail in the wood, detail in the hands, and the background looks pretty good. Even though there's grain, it looks like pretty decent grain. Next up, DxO. You know, I, I don't know where the color thing is coming from. That's just how it processed the raw, but the, the details are there. It looks great, and there's like zero noise. There's almost none. Uh, I really dig how DxO and Lightroom is doing. The on one does not do as good of a job. The background looks a little bit weird and streaky. This just doesn't do as good of a job as the other ones on the automatic settings at least. And I have played with on one and I can get better results manually, but it takes a little bit more time. We're looking today at like really quick one click solutions uh, that we're happy with. And so far on all these, I'm extremely happy with the way Lightroom does it. Uh, compared to these other ones, at least doing, doing it quickly. Here we have finally Photo AI, which doesn't do that great of a job. It does okay. Some of the grain's gone. But overall, I think that Lightroom and DxO especially does a better job. There's Lightroom and there's DxO of controlling some of that kind of smearing that happens sometimes. Another one old TV set. This one was interesting. I shot this at ISO 6400 and I wanted to see what the noise reduction would do to the, uh, like kind of like the layers of dust and, and junk that's over some of this. So you can see in the background, this is the original photo without any noise reduction. There's some, uh, you know, highlights in the background and then there's dust over the screen. Somebody wrote something on the TV and then you can see the numbers here and Lightroom did an amazing job. It kept some of the dust on here the writing left in, left in here kept all the highlights, all the smudges and stuff, and then it makes the numbers clear. This is a, a pretty incredible job that Lightroom did. I think DxO does a pretty good job too, but not as good as Lightroom. Lightroom, that's Lightroom. Let's look at that TV right there. That looks good. And then this is DxO. Just a little bit less detailed, not quite as good. Here we go to On1. It's uh, a lot muddier. 
it kind of fuzzed everything out, makes it look like there's a layer of fuzz over my my image. It just does not look as good. And finally, Photo AI uh, does a pretty good job. That's a, that's that's pretty decent. Another one where I was out in the country and it was really dark. Uh, we were doing some night photography in a few minutes. We were kind of waiting for the sky to go dark. Uh, this is ISO 12,800, okay? So we can see a lot of grain when you zoom in. This is just the raw file straight into Lightroom. We go to the Lightroom denoising and it looks fantastic. There's grain, but it's nice grain. And then there's detail. There's detail on the hat. Uh, there's detail on the hair, on the camera. It looks freaking awesome if you ask me. Next up is DxO, and DxO does a really, really good job too. I like the, I basically like DxO and Lightroom probably very, very much the same on this one. Uh, when we go to on one noise, it doesn't do quite as good a job. It, the background looks a little muddy. It tries to pull out more details, which is a function of the automatic setting kind of kicking in and uh, the autopilot, I think is what do they call it. And uh, this is what we get, which is not as good. You get some weird blotches of grain over here by her by the back of her head and then photo ai does a pretty good job as well although not as nice as some of the other options i think the background looks much nicer for instance on the um uh, lightroom denoising we have another image here this is an image i shot at chimney rock in nebraska it's pretty grainy in the background but i still like it a lot we look at something um, where we go to the lightroom denoising does an incredible job. Everything looks really good. The details in this hands, details up here, just great. DxO looks really good as well. Maybe a little bit better than Lightroom's, not sure, but very close. Then we have On One, which doesn't do quite as nice on the background, but it does a pretty good job adding some detail here. Maybe a little bit too much right there, uh, but it denoises it pretty well. And then Photo AI does a pretty good job overall too, but not quite as good as Lightroom and uh, DxO, right? Last one is a rookie mistake by me. This is with my X100V, one of the coolest sunsets I've ever witnessed. I accidentally had my neutral density filter on and also my camera on automatic, so it was struggling big time. Luckily, I brought a bunch of other cameras. Uh, I only shot a couple with the X100, uh, but I just wanted to see how this would clean up. So this is without any kind of cleaning. Then we go to denoise on Lightroom, and it does a really good job. You know, there's not a lot of detail here because ISO 12,800 is pretty much at the limits of that X100V to do much with it. But, I mean, let's say I only had this image and I needed the denoising. This would do it. This is great. This is fine, right? That's what's exciting about this. It's It would save something like this and make it presentable on a smaller print or a, at the very minimum social media. It looks fantastic. Then we got DxO. DxO also does a very, very good job makes it look really moody and the grain is very controlled. I think DxO and Lightroom are tied on this one as well. On one noise, again, just does not do nearly as good of a job. Everything looks a little bit smeared up. And then we go to Photo AI and it does not look as, it doesn't look as good either. And uh, I don't know why I made everything yellow. What are my thoughts? My thoughts are if you have Adobe Lightroom or Photoshop, or Lightroom Classic, and you want to denoise things, I think this is like probably good enough for 99% of your images. No joke. I, I, I've probably put, deno I've, I've probably done denoising to maybe like 50 to 75 of my images, some of the worst and some of the decent ones, and Lightroom did a great job. There was only a couple where maybe I'd run into DxO or do something different with one of the other programs, but I'm really happy. My recommendation for you is to download a free trial to all these. They all have free trials, uh, DxO, on one and photo AI, all of them have free trials, download them and just go to town and start to do your images and see what works best for you. And, or if you have Lightroom, this is probably good enough for most people. This is pretty awesome. If you have any questions, throw them below. I hope you enjoy this. Let me know if you need anything, whatever. I'm here. I love doing this stuff and we'll talk to you later on.